Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to film a quick video um, regarding some recent mascara purchases that I got, um, their drugstore brand, and what a quick review of what I think about them and how much I like them. And um, I hope you enjoy. The first mascara that I wanted to talk about was the NYX um, Worth the Hype Mascara. Um, didn't really know about this mascara a whole lot. I seen it in the drugstore and I saw like one picture online about it and as far as like what it does and how good it does and um, you know whatever it claims to do and um, I was sold. One picture I was sold. I'm not gonna lie. But I am a huge fan of NYX products anyway. I have a ton of their products. Um, I use their Control Drop Foundation. is amazing. Um, I use a lot of their um, cream suede lip colors. The matte lip liquid lips are phenomenal. And I have about 25 of those. And um, I've just been real happy with everything that I've purchased so far um, from NYX. So I didn't think twice about it when I saw a picture about what they had and what it you know promises to do for you um so of course i went out and bought it it was i want to say i think i got it for like seven dollars um at cvs and you can get but you can get nyx at like a department store like belk you can get it at um cvs you can get it at ulta of course and ulta.com you can get it at nyx.com and um most recently i saw that you actually walmart will actually start carrying nyx too so that's a plus because i love going to walmart so the Worth of Hype Mascara is only about $7 or $8. I think it was like $7.99, $7.50, something like that. Um, and it promises to do volumizing and lengthening mascara. And let me show you what the brush looks like. The brush is, um, it's a bristle brush. It's not one of the plastic brushes. And it's very, very thick, very wide. Let's compare it with my finger. Um, it's very bushy. And... Um, Seems to hold the product on it pretty good. Um, I do know, I'm um, sorry, I just ate some crackers. Um, I do know that it does exactly what it says it's going to do. Um, it does give you volume, does give you length, and it does give you that boom, like, you know, amazing eyelash look without having to wear false eyelashes. I was really, really surprised at the amount of lashes that it was able to pull out of, um, my little bitty little thin lashes. I have long lashes, but they're super, super thin and kind of sparse. So it takes a lot to really pull. The only downside to um, that mascara is that it does dry out very, very quickly. Um, if you use it every day and it's your everyday mascara, I totally recommend it. For seven bucks, you're gonna get your seven dollars out of it if you use it every day. If you're like me and you have a mascara wardrobe, and you use different types of mascaras for different moods and different looks. I don't recommend you buying it because you're going to use it a couple times. And then if you sit it to the side and use something else, it's Ooh, it's going to dry out and it's going to get um, really, really clumpy. And it's not going to do the job that it does. As far as department store and high-end dupes, I would compare this probably um, to the Lancome Monshore Big Mascara. Similar type brush, similar type formula, um, and you do have to really be careful with this because like that same mascara, it can tend, it does have a tendency to clump really easily, so you have to be very, very careful as far as how many coats you put on. Um, but yeah, I would compare it to the Montour Big from Lancome. That's pretty much the um, high-end equivalent, and that's really not that expensive. It's like 25 Is that expensive? Oh no, seven's pretty cheap. The other mascara that I want to talk about is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Now, there are three different versions of this kind. There is the Volume, which is like a peach color. There is the Sculpting Volume, which is purple. And then there is the False Lash Effect, which is green. This little sucker has been hell to get a hold of. Um, I heard, first read about this online like two months ago, he's crying, like two months ago, and um, it was amazing. The reviews on it was amazing, and I happened to stumble across the Essence line in Target, but they were sold out of all of the Last Princess mascaras. They had the, like, I Heart Extreme and all that kind of other stuff, but they didn't have that one. So, um, I went back a couple times to Target to find it, and of course it was all sold. Then I eventually stumbled across it um, at Ulta, and I went into Ulta a couple times, 
and um, they were out of stock of two cores, which the reason if that's what led me to purchase these two is because um, every time I went in to get the green one, these two were the only ones they had. So I ultimately ended up buying these, which are really, really nice. I like these. Um, this one is the Sculpting Volume Lash. This one gives you volume. This one has a curved brush. <clears throat> and um, all these only come in black, just so you know. Um, it does exactly what it promises to do. It pulls your volume out, but it pulls a little bit of your length out too, but it does give you lots of volume and lots of thickness without getting too clumpy. Now this peach one, this one is just a regular volumizing. This one has a funky brush on it. This kind of reminds you of um, the Lancome Hypnos Drama one. And that's kind of what your brush looks like. It's really big on one end and then like on the other, it's kind of curved. It's a little odd. Now this one I haven't used quite as often, so I haven't really given it a fair shake. So I'm not going to review that one because I'm not 100% sure what it does for me and how I like it. But that's just what the brush looks like. Um, finally, this is the Lash Princess. This is the False Lash. This is the one that I was trying to get my hands on. This has a very narrow, very straight brush. And, of course, this comes in black as well. Now, obviously, you can put more than one coat on, but if you just decide you're, you're in a hurry and you're quick, like the baby's awake now, i got to go get him in a second before he gets mad, but you can just put the one coat on and it won't clump, it won't get all nasty and your lashes won't stick together you won't have to take a dry one and comb through they just do exactly what they say they do and best news is they are only $4.99 I only pay five bucks for this and this and this so um yeah I mean I have to say for $4.99 for it to do exactly what it says it's gonna do I'm pretty impressed I'm pretty impressed with all of my mascaras so far that I've purchased um, in this Well, room. I hope you enjoy this video. It's a quick video. It's not the best one, but I'm in a hurry because my son's awake now. Um, but keep watching and like and subscribe. And if there's anything that you want to um, particularly see me review or any kind of looks you want me to do or anything like that, just comment in the comment section below and I'll be happy to try to honor those requests. Um, in the meantime, you guys have a great Sunday. Thanks. You're so pretty. Hi, sweet boy. Uh, hey. Oh, good morning.